Hello and welcome. In a previous video, I described my work trying to fix a bug in the TRS-80 color computer emulation in Maine. First, I want to thank everybody who took the time to share their comments. I read all the comments. And I was quite surprised how many people commented on this one remark that I made. So I figured, what the heck, while I'm at it, let's see if maybe I can tweak some of these values and try to get Dragonfire working a little bit better. An issue is that the builds take a long time. Just linking alone can easily take 20 or 30 minutes. Yes, that did slow me down quite a bit. And many of you expressed outrage at the inhumane conditions I experienced. Today, we right a wrong. I set up my build environment by just following the instructions. The main documentation does have a lot of nice descriptions of everything. If you have the patience to do a lot of reading, there's a lot of good info here. Uh, so uh, I scrolled down and eventually I got to the Windows section, which is me. And there's a link to the main build tools page where you can download all of the build tools necessary to do the building. So I just went here and I did the download. There are, as usual, many different ways to install things. I just picked the simplest, most standard way of doing stuff. I didn't want to customize anything. So they have a nice executable that will install a build environment called msys64 and all the compilers and linkers and everything. And there are alternative shells. You could do this, or you could do that, or you could do this, or you could do that. And I was like, I just, what's the standard? So I just, I'm using Ming W64. And back on the compiling main page, they talk about the parameters to make and the different tools that work and the tools that don't work and stuff. And so here's where I landed. In my Ming W64 environment, which is running MSA64, on my path is MSA64 user bin. So I just made a little batch file with all the parameters I passed to make. I always make with symbols on so I can do debugging easier. Um, sub target and sources allows you to build a subset of MAME so that build times don't go so long and you get just the stuff you need. So the sources is where you list the source files or directories you definitely want to include and then the build system figures out all the things that they depend on and includes them as well. Subtarget is just you applying a name to that. So you can pick any name you like and then it'll generate an executable with that name. So I just pick dragon. And then at the end, you tell it how many threads you want it to run for the build. The recommendation is you pick however many cores you have and just add one. I got four cores, so I'm just doing five build threads. I should mention that the first time you do a build where you specify your own subtarget and your own custom sources, you do need to make sure that you add regen ie equals one to the command. This will force the build of some intermediary build files. You don't generally need to specify this often, only when you're changing settings. And that's it. I did not customize any make files. I didn't make any other changes. And this works. But how slow does it go? Well, I just completed a full build from scratch. So let's show an incremental build. Here's my favorite file, the 6047 video display generator file. I'm just going to add a space, save, and now let's do make and we'll time it. Let's see how fast the compiles go and how fast the link goes. So that's the compilation that was fast enough. I'm sure it could be faster. A lot of people tell me Linux would be faster, but it's good enough for me. The real question is how long does that link take?
27 and a half minutes just for linking. That's a long time to wait for every link. Thanks to at Lindner Tim, who suggested that I look into using the C-Lang linker. And he was kind enough to give me the exact line to add to change things, which is this arch ops equals fuse LD equals LLD. Now this is no secret. In fact, on the compiling main page, they specifically say to use the LLVM linker with GCC, ensure the LLVM linker is installed and add fuse LD equals LLD to the linker options. But at first I was trying to keep things simple. I just wanted to make sure I could build it at all. I probably read this and said, oh, well, I'll come back to it if I need to, but I wanna just do things the standard way. And then I forgot all about it. And the build tools page did also talk about using CLang, but they very ominously put in bold all caps that it is still experimental. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between CLang and LLVM, but I think CLang is one of the projects that came out of LLVM, perhaps? And it's a specific compiler and linker using the LLVM technology. Maybe. In any case, this is my change to the make command line. And so I have already done a full build using this. And so now I'm going to make an incremental change to my favorite file. I'm going to add yet another space. And now let's build with that. know if you caught how incredibly fast that was, but I did not speed anything up and it actually took more time to dump the symbols than it did to link. And that, my friends, is how you link MAME on Windows.